Hi, I'm going to show you how anyone can automate scraping links from a Google Sheet using a template from Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Before we get started, a quick bit of context. This template reads a series of links in a Google Sheet, opens each link in Chrome, scrapes data from that page it's just loaded, writes it to a Google Sheet, deletes the processed row from the Google Sheet, and then loops back around to scrape the next URL. You're also going to need, of course, a Google Sheet with links in it. I happen to have one set up already. I've got four links and I've also got two tabs, one with the links in that I'm going to scrape and a separate tab where I'm going to write my data called data. So, Next up, of course, you'll need to install the template. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube and you don't know where the template is, there'll be a link in the comment, but you can also just go to axiom.ai and in the top menu, click on templates. Okay, if you're on the template page, all you need to do is click install the template, unless you haven't created an Axiom account, in that case, you'll be prompted to do that first. Okay, I'm ready to start configuring the template. This really won't take long. I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna open up the template. I'm gonna start with step one, which is a read data from Google Sheet step. Now, the first thing I need to do is find the sheet where I've got my links. If you recall, it's called Test Sheet Axiom. Then I'm gonna select the sheet name that has my links in it, which is funny enough called links. Here below, I can see Axiom has generated a preview. There we go. That step, I can collapse it now because I've finished setting it up. Onto the loop step. I don't need to do anything to the loop step itself. I need to configure the sub steps in the loop. Let's go to step 2.1, go to page. What I need to do is insert some data or the URLs into the enter URL field. Now you can cut and paste a URL into there and I could click get current to grab the current URL. But I want to pass data from the Google Sheet. So I click insert data and I want to pass the links from the Google Sheet. There you can see I've got the preview. I press save and close. You'll now see the loop is set up in the, in the loop through data and it's gonna loop through the column in the Google Sheet with the links in it. So that's all configured correctly now. I can go on to step 2.2, the get data from a current bots page. So this is our scraper step where we select the data we wish to scrape. So what I need to do is actually open up one of the links in the Google Sheet. Now these pages are all going to be sub pages of a site. So they've all got a very similar template where I can just scrape some content off them. So we've got a headline and some paragraph text. So let's open up the axiom here and go back to step 2.2. And we need to use Axiom's point and click select tool. All I need to do is press select. I'm just gonna drag myself up out of the way here because we've got our preview bar along the bottom here. And I'm gonna select the title. Then I'm gonna add another column to also select some of the text below. I'm just gonna make reset that selection. I'm gonna press complete. I've made all the data selection I wish. Now we leave the max result set to one in this example, because we're only scraping a, a single data set from the page. And that helps speed up my scraper. Let's collapse that step and move on to the next step. The right data to Google Sheet step. Here I want to select the same sheet, test sheet axiom. But this time I want to set the sheet name to data. And I want to select the data I wish to write to the sheet. I do this by finding the data and clicking insert data. This time, choosing the scrape data. I press save and close. I want to add to existing data because we're going to be performing a loop. I don't want to keep writing it over the data. I want to then click add to existing data. And this step is now all set up. I now collapse the step. We're onto our final step now. 
And what we do is delete a row from the Google Sheet. We do that because we want to go through a new row every time we perform a loop. We don't want to loop through the same URL we've just done. So what we do is just remove a row so the bot knows what the new row is. Again, we select the same sheet, the sheet name. This time you want to choose the sheet with the links in and we leave first row and last row to one because we're just deleting a single row at a time. Now that's all configured, let me just quickly do a top-down explanation of how these steps all work together, just to help teach you a little bit more. So this first step basically reads the data, as you know, from the Google Sheet, and we're reading the links. Then we pass those links into this loop to loop through all the links in the Google Sheet. The go to page step opens up the link in the Chrome engine that we've made for Axiom. The get data step scrapes that data off the page that's just been opened. We then write it to a Google Sheet with step 2.3. We finally, we delete the row that's just been processed. So when the axiom goes back to the top of the loop and reads the next row, it's reading from a new row. That's the bot configured. Now you're ready to run it. Now the scrape is all configured, let's do a test run. I like to test my axioms on the desktop. What I'm going to do is limit the loop to just reading a single row of data because I don't want to spend ages watching the bot run for it to then have an issue. I just want to do a, a small run so I can check the data is scraped and written to the Google Sheet and then I can do a larger run. So basically what I do to limit is I pass a single cell through to the loop a1 to A1, so that's just going to pass a single URL. The bot will only loop once. Now I'm going to click Run. <coughs> the desktop should open up. What I want to see is one of the pages, the URLs in the Google Sheet, load up into the Axiom Runner here. Loaded up the page. Should scroll down, scrape the highlighted content. The bot should stop shortly. We should see a row removed from the sheet. And also if I scroll, move myself up a bit, I'm expecting to see some data written into the sheet shortly. There we go. The row that's been processed has been removed. The data has been written into the sheet. I know my bot has worked. I'm now ready to run a large scale run. Worth noting that all Axiom's templates can be customized. You could add steps to build out their functionality. This scraping template is a great example of a beginner template that you can expand on. For example, you may want to actually click on a button to reveal some content to scrape. How would I do that? I would add a step in, click element step. Then I'll just use our no code point and select tool to select the element I wish to click on the page and that would be set up. And now this bot would click on an element on a web page before scraping the data. How you customize the templates is completely up to you. Next, some quick tips how to fully optimize your scraper. I'm gonna open up the Axiom, just take you through a couple of them. There's some more on the template page. When reading data from Google Sheet, as I showed you before, you can control the amount of loops that your bot does simply by setting a first and last cell. So if you wanted to do a batch of 100, you'd simply change A1 first cell, then you'd have the last cell A1 100. Or a batch of 50 would be A50. You get the idea. Now, if you want to optimize the speed of your scraper a little, you can open up the step 2.2 and configure scraper do be cautious and test when you make changes because we do optimize. Basically, we optimize our scrapers for accuracy over speed. Now, some people obsess more about speed over accuracy, but the speed can affect accuracy. So the faster you scrape just means the scraper could trigger before the content is finished loading on the page and you may miss some content. So do test. But one way to speed up your scraper is change the amount of attempts when results not found. 
you can just set this to zero and basically the bot will only scrape the page once. But I probably recommend starting off with one test, to see how it goes. Another quick tip, if you're writing data to the Google Sheet and it keeps getting overwritten and you don't see the additional pages being written, check you've got add to existing data selected. That's about it. My final word would be to say that we offer great customer support. So do reach out, share your template, share us a video, explain to us what, share with us a video, explain to us what you're trying to do and we'll get back to you with some professional advice. Thank you very much.